Ah, yes. My original Zentorno. And there's also one thing I'm going to have to get used to as well. Because if you... Oh my god! I have $851,000 in my bank account! This is miserable! How you doing? Shut up, Lester. So apparently, when I left GTA Online for Next Gen, I had played 30 hours. Or 30 days, rather. <laughs> Compared to now, that is... Uh, the last time I ranked up was in 2015. Alright, so basically what I apparently have in my garage is a Zentorno, an Armored Karuma, whatever, a Peyote, which I don't know why it has that, but I guess it is what it is, a Phoenix, a Roosevelt, which I undoubtedly have kept because, you know, it was an exclusive vehicle and good luck trying to sell it, a random Fudo I just probably grabbed from the street and I don't know why it's here. The demon, or the daemon, I should say, and the sovereign. For the same reason, it's it's again, it's exclusive. Right. I think I sold a bunch of my vehicles because I wanted to like do that, do that thing for that achievement. I was like, screw it. I I won't be uh, I won't be coming back anyways. Ah, here we go. So a non-upgraded gauntlet apparently. A Sanchez. Uh. So before we continue, I just want to say that back then. I was always like, gotta use the off-road tires for, for maximum performance and stuff like that. Couldn't really race anyways, but you know, it's whatever. Uh, Blista. This is the Exemplar. Massacre, because, I mean, obviously. Uh, Huntley S, which was back then the best SUV. Batty 801, Shafter. Uh, an Adder. Which I don't think I can... I can't even sell the Adder. And the Z-Type. Why do I not have a, T, a T20 on here? I think I must have sold it for the fucking Karumas, actually. So, last gen stopped getting updates at Ill Garden Games Part 2. So, this is like the... <laughs> this is the only... This is this is the amount of vehicles that, are, that were in the game. I mean, do you see how quickly I am done scrolling? Try doing this on next gen. So during the high subdays, you had the Mesa. I mean, there's obviously so in in my thing there are some things missing here because I didn't actually do the high sub 360. I was already gone by that point. But I mean, you know, obviously the Hydra and that sort of stuff should be there. But I mean, just look how look how small this 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 uh this list is of of vehicles. Like it is it is kind of crazy. I mean. Let's be honest about this though, like the, the boat website, it never really had it much on there anyway, so you know, let's that's, that's not let's not, you know, get too carried away. Same thing goes for the for the uh, for the jet for the jets and all that, of course. Did make sure to uh, left a ten million dollar jet in there though. Jeez, this website is completely different as well. And um This list is not very big. I mean, you know, Southern San Andreas is a bit more respectable, I'd say. Where are his eyebrows? What the fuck is this? Bro, does this man have eyebrows or what? Oh, wait, there's no first person either. Where are this guy's eyes? What the fuck? Look at this shit. It's like he had two options of Kuruma and he decided to pick the worst one. Off to a great start, I must say. When it comes to the actual last gen experience, all you're going to get is a worse version of the game with less content that runs much worse. Because it's running at about 20 FPS when you're going on high speed, render issues are a thing, and overall the game just looks... dated. I mean, even now, the PS4 and the Xbox One versions are looking a little rough, especially if you compare it to PC. So imagine what it looks like and feels like to play when you go all the way back to last gen. If you remember, in the summer of 2014, this game was in an incredibly terrible state, and for that reason, I couldn't wait for the current gen versions. For that reason, going back, it wasn't really all that amazing of an experience. There were not really much feelings of nostalgia, considering the fact that all the content that is available within last gen is also available in the current gen version. So you're really not missing out on much other than the experience of being able to play on the Xbox 360 and having much worse frames and a much worse looking game. 
the game doesn't really have an awful lot of people playing in there anymore either, considering the fact that the only two people I could find in free roam were my only two crew members that for some reason decided to launch up their Xbox 360 as well. The only time I found people was during heist, which of course means that at this point in the video I'm transitioning into an impromptu heist with randoms episode. Enjoy. I like their strategy. They're like, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna block this off. Like it's gonna do anything. Oh, hold up. I wonder what their big big idea is here, actually. Uh oh. What what's this? It's gonna blow up the truck. <laughs> Uh, whether it's last gen or new gen chat, the heist with randoms is always the same. Always the same. And the frames were like... <laughs> what? You want to explode five vehicles? <laughs> Cut it off! <laughs> Watch, okay, I, I am wondering about something, right? If I don't bother to take down the helicopter, will they bother themselves to do it? I am I am genuinely wondering. I think this man is trying to shoot him with a marksman rifle. You know, I respect the hustle. And I'm and I'm going to do the try to do the same thing. I feel this is gonna be a really solid idea. You see on, on new or current gen we just use an explosive uh, one, so. I think this is a really great idea. It's really, it's, it's, it's just really working out. All right, well, we're, we're dead now. Oh. Look at that. We did it. I wonder if they've learned from their mistakes and like not gonna fire any explosives again. What is this man doing? Wait, what, what, what? He's decided to start creeping up with him all the way behind. I mean, I respect the hustle. He's, he's flanking them. It's pretty, it's pretty clever, I guess. The more that's happening, the more the FPS is taking a shit, though. Good hot damn. This should go well. Can I just say that the FPS is getting noticeably worse? Like, when I was driving in free room earlier, it was, like, semi-okay. The problem with me as well, though, is that I'm kind of used to 60 FPS nowadays, and I don't really play on console anymore. So I guess this is especially rough. But I'm pretty damn certain that this is definitely not 30 FPS. Also, yeet! All right. Well, he did. He's de oh, did. He just decided. Okay, he just thought it was a solid idea. Just just ram the truck through there. All right. Well, can you like destroy the helicopter, please? It's going well. I, holy FPS drop! <laughs> you blow up one car and it's like, nah, screw your FPS, it is over! <laughs> right, I'm just gonna keep driving. To the. To Jesus. I'm, lo I'm loving the support we're getting here, guys. Fuck me. I'll do it myself, then. Shout out to the team. What are they even do- They have an insurgent! I mean, for fuck's sake! How is it so difficult that you sit in the insurgent and not die? We're going advanced strategies here, because, uh, you know, doing this the regular way is, uh, certainly not working out, it seems. Will you shut up? This man is like, get into the car! Arr! 
Oh, there it is. Yeah, for, for last gen, the render this is, uh, this is quite good. And even after deploying advanced strategies and trying to play it safe by being the one who drives the truck and avoiding obstacles and going through mountains and just crossing my fingers that they won't die while sitting in an armored insurgent, they still all died and at some point someone decided to go AFK and as soon as I tried to leave the session, my game decided to freeze and I had to restart my console. Which, you know, Xbox 360 experiences for GTA Online wrapped up in one neat package combined with Hazard Randoms. But with all that said and all that done, that was it for this one. Thank you all so very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. And if you really like what you see on the channel, consider becoming a member. Like Chloe, Roberts, I Lose Fire, Captain Price, Shakulu, Madman Dakota and Dr. Strange Love. Join them and the other fellow members by clicking the join button down below. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all later.